Ladies and gentlemen, authorities and representatives of the authorities, dear partners of the Cité de Métier of Lomé, I am going to talk to you as a representative of the Cité de Métier of the partnership uh, method that we have in our um, network to bring together interests on the one side, the interests of the enterprises, the public, and on the other side of the institutions. This concept of a city of trades was born 23 years now at La Villette within uh, an establishment which was uh, the city of sciences and industry which is now integrated in a more important institution which is universal science this concept when it was born was a precursor and novator of and as of that moment it is uh, a concept that has spread in a lot of countries and we can see it nowadays in three continents in the world mainly in Europe evidently but also in America and North South and now for the first time with the Cité de Mété of Lomé we have on the the African continent but it is just a debut a uh, city of trade is defined for the public as a platform some people will say a unique teller of uh, welcoming information and uh, advice to inform all the people, whatever their age, their um, study level, to help them to orientate, to help them to build their uh, professional route. So this is also a platform where they can find in an integrated way all the resources in the same physical venue uh, from the point of view of functioning a uh, city of trades is defined uh, especially through its multi-partnership multi-partnership which is also translated through uh, a territorial a very strong territorial uh, establishment because each city of trade is animated by local partners each of them is supported by uh, public uh, powers uh, in according to cases we have partnership with uh, territorial scales we'll find the state um, territorial collectivities at different levels metropoles regions provinces etc according to countries effectively there are um, the original uh, aspects that could be different so these city of trades uh, will deliver proximity services to citizens services that are adapted to each territories bringing together the competences of the partners as well public as uh, a private a city of trade is then serving citizens and also companies let's say all the actors of a territory this will allow to bring all the actors to work together actors that could have different interests so each territory having its uh, own realities partnerships are built in a concerted way at the local level each city of trade with each of its partners come together around commune common values that we all share and that characterize uh, the partnerships that is the solidarity the diversity and the responsibility and the transparency as well so after this presentation a very quick presentation of the concept in introduction now I would like to bring you into what is concrete about a city of trades a city of trades is first a platform to orientate people it means that each person that goes there can enlarge the possibilities of choice uh, can discover opportunities meeting professionals from various activity sectors 
through the documentation, the concrete documentations at their level on uh, the jobs. It is also a place where they can meet advisors, experts who are capable of interact with them on what what they are as people in globality with all the complexity of their status as um, very obviously you can have multiple status uh, you can have um, job very different job opportunities you can have uh, insertion opportunities that's it so the idea is in a city of trade we can be able to prepare our future professional future meeting experts uh, especially on our situation on the emergency of today what do you have to 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 solve as problem today and also projecting in the future trying to see uh, what you would like to do in 10 years finally in a city of trades we are also there uh, to find help in order to conduct a research having access to tools that can be classical documentations, a paper as we used to have, but also multimedia tools that could be dedicated to diverse objectives. Uh, see text to know in one's interests, uh, log on to websites to visualize videos on jobs, etc. And there you can get a help given that users of a city of trades uh, we would like them to be autonomous. We must support them, help them in order to get this autonomy. And finally, the last mission of a city of trade, uh, for the user at least, is to break the isolation. Because we know that today, thanks to internet, we have millions of friends of on social networks. But anyway, we are very often alone in front of a computer and it is very important to be able to communicate with human beings to, 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 to sit together with them. So in a city of trades, people can meet other people, physical people, human beings sharing the same issues uh, with whom they can discuss exchange views they can uh, join uh, into punctual activities but they can also um, join in activities that are rather uh, done in periodically and people sharing the same issues can meet each month to exchange on their advancements in the the, the solving of their issues so for the partners of a city of trade, it is an important challenge in order to meet all these challenges that I have exposed to you. In fact, partners will have to develop an offer of complementary services on one side, um, interviews with professionals that will be brought together by um, uh, an advisory hub uh, following the concrete concern of people it is also services of documentations with uh, free access uh, where mm, people can find information on employment, on jobs, on the creation of activities, etc. It is uh, also a matter of organizing uh, a place of uh, uh, computer resources, mutualizing many resources, and finally the core organization of uh, collective services. In a city of trade, you can find workshops that I was talking about earlier, clubs, but also big days of information, forums of employment, uh, meetings that can be organized by the partners of the city of trade, but also very often co-produced by people from institutions that are not yet partners of the city of trade they are external partners so um, to concentrate on concrete concerns of users to put 
uh, oneself at their disposal at the, the advisory ops where they can meet themselves. People do not come to go to the INPO, to, to go to the CNOT, uh, to go to the store of management, but people come rather because they need to choose an orientation, they need to find a training, they want to change their professional life, they need to find a job, they want to create their own business. So the city of trade will be organized according to these problematics of the users. And these advisory hubs that I have listed to you are those of Paris. They must be able to cover all the thematic of the professional life. In other places, the advisory hubs are less numerous. We have a minimum of three. In other places, they are more numerous, up to seven. Uh, there you see the examples with the pictures of one of the last city of trades that opened, which is the one of the Val de Marne, which is, uh, which is supported by a local collectivity where you can see three advisory hubs this is what we can see uh, on the, the picture below there is a general welcoming where the people who come to find information are not obliged to go through because the city of trade it is is a place where you are totally free to go which is totally open so you can have information at the reception and see uh, an advisor on uh, uh, jobs so you see that to, to do a city of trades you need to mobilize partners and mo mobilize uh, partners of different types uh, advisory partners documentation partners partners who uh, concentrate on events financial partners as well and all these partners will have to build a team they are not side by side but when they are in the advisory hubs they have to work together so how do you make a partnership in a city of trade a partnership is felt first built in the action because you are together doing something together and this is what makes the solidity of the partnerships and that allows to enrich them enormously first it is co-animation on uh, advisory hubs which is made with professionals that come from main competent institutions in the field of the hub you said it earlier you saw it earlier on how to find one's orientation so you can see uh, national education services etc uh, you will find INPR and maybe other partners as well so this co-animation is made daily on the advisory of during the opening hours and there is also another work of back office the partners will work uh, up level to materialize their resources their documents so that each hub is equipped with the best tools uh, with the maximum of tools they can have and it is the advisors who will see what are the more pertinent relevant uh, tools that they have in the territory because all the time you have to bring uh, them to the concrete resources of the territory and finally in back office there is also the co-production of uh, the offer of service by the partners we earlier talked about the opening to external partners of course it is not that it is uh, because you are not part of a city of trades um, that you cannot collaborate with the city of trade and co-produce with it events um, services as of the moment it is something useful for the citizens of the territory but you must know that the partners who work in a city of trade are the work uh, in order not to be in competition so the city of trade uh, is not working in competition with existing uh, institutions so the idea is they should not substitute themselves to the offer of service uh, given by the other already existing institution the idea is when they bring 
people together in a city of trade uh, to be able to produce more to produce better to produce things that are not covered by the the partners of the territories and sometimes it can be useful when a partner develops uh, some services in uh, his institutions so rather than doing it home he finds some interest doing it inside the city of trade uh, we can talk about that at the moment uh, we'll start exchanges um, soon what makes um, partners that brings partners together in a city of trade. The idea is they work together because they uh, join the same chart. The chart is our um, spine. It is what um, allows us to, to obtain the label city of trade. What does that chart say? It gives us the principles of functioning. Uh, here, these are uh, principles of function. Is the idea is uh, a city of trade must be a place concentrated on the needs of the users. It must be uh, um, a, a, an open place for all the people, which must be free, where you can go anonymously, go and work anonymously without um, appointment except for the groups because it needs um, organization it is a multi-sectoral place which can tackle or deal with all the sectors of activities uh, a city of trade uh, finds interest in all the sectors of activities you must de deal with all the aspects of professional life you um, saw it earlier when i showed you the advisory hubs that we had it must be the issue of the financement of a training as well as the issue of uh, uh, job uh, application to, to 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 try and see what kind of studies you can uh, choose so all the issues you can come across in professional life must be dealt with in a city of trade to do that we need to be able to walk on our two feet two legs it means that we must have a uh, multi partnerships with the uh, public as well as private uh, structures it it's also part of uh, the modalities of function is to be able to um, give the person who comes all the possibilities to be informed with the means that are more uh, comfortable to him some people feel more comfortable with the uh, uh, documents handouts uh, some other people would rather uh, talk to uh, people or find themselves in a workshop with many people so any city of trade must be able to produce in modalities of access to the to the information that are multiple so you understood it very well. This chart uh, allows us to uh, bring partners together that commit in this principle. So in a city of trade, we will bring together uh, public um, institutions and the main actors of the territory are concerned with the orientation. This is the minimum of uh, uh, national education, social partners and uh, local collectivities at the level of uh, the territory in question. And this, the, 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 the job of a city of trade is to make them work together, to bring them to mutualize their competencies, to mutualize their means and all to the service of the users to, of the citizenship to inform them to produce a programming of common events and offer uh, in a very collective way services so that users wouldn't have to run uh, everywhere in the city looking uh, at things in on internet to know that there is at some point an event where they should find some interest there must be a unique place where you know that if you go there you will find the information you will find the right partner and you will leave uh, having uh, stepped forward in the preparation of the professional route to be able to do this you know it, it is complicated 
And for us, City of Trades, what seems important to us is to bring together all these partners in a, a governance structures which is neutral and independent so that each partner, whether the partner is small or big, finds himself on an equal basis within a city of trade. There is no sing it is not because there is one of them is bearing a project that it is not because NPW has uh, supported the project of the city of trades uh, from for two years now that they are going to be the one deciding uh, on what um, the city of trades will do no it is rather all the partners that committed beside it that will be brought together in a, a structure of governance which will be independent from the hierarchy of uh, the INPE so in order to finish there because I've been a bit long to give you an idea of the partners that you can find at La Villette you can see it these partners are in uh, two um, circles you will find inside the first circle of partners where we see the bigger one which is universe science since we have uh, 11 positions full-time of uh, staff uh, assigned at the city of uh, trade um, the academy of crete the great um, you have the 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 center of information and orientation uh, a structure which is no which normally doesn't welcome the public but which provides information but they were very interested in coming in as uh, uh, advisors in a city of trades because it allowed them to meet people and to see how they will develop themselves in their own structure and offer of service which is interesting and uh, in line with the reality of the territories and the problematics of the people I'm not going to list them all to you uh, so so there is um, the it is the GRDR, which is um, uh, an association. I don't remember it exactly, which is um, an association that deals with the migrants. Maybe some of you know it because it is said they have some branches in their in your countries. Uh, that tackle this issue of helping uh, migrants to insert in their new societies so these people have signed a convention creating uh, the city of trade it means that they are permanent actors of the city of trades they are the one assuring the offer of Mm -mm, jobs in the second circle you will see partners put on the on an equal basis because we cannot make a target according to the time of work of each of them this is what we call second circle partners it means that they are recurrent partners coming in regularly each month or uh, once a week or each 15 days with a workshop with a, an event they do with us so they are animators of what we call the offer to the little collectives i talked about clubs but they are also workshops they it can be a specific uh, information ses session i know that there is somewhere employ quebec here employ quebec is one of the partners of this second circle that animates uh, twice a month a workshop at the city of trades to go study uh, in Quebec so these partners are linked to the city of trades of La Villette by a specific convention which is different from the multi partner convention that links uh, the partners who, who are in the city of trade and around you can see in the squares the remaining squares 
Okay, there are three types of partners. They um, uh, usual partners, financial partners who do not have the vocation to be in workshops or events. Um, this town hall of Paris and uh, the department of 93, the European Social Funds, the um, Ile de France Regional Council just to list you a few of these partners in yellow up there you have documentary partners uh, at our place we have as well public partners as ONICEP or CIDG which uh, who have as vocation to, pr to, to, to create tools and you will have a certain number of them here in Togo uh, orientation tools, knowledge tools of uh, jobs uh, uh, which are part of national education <coughs> these CIP is so just listing the associations I noticed that I made a big mistake so I will explain you why you can't see uh, employment or herb, which is the equivalent of the INPE in the partners. There is an explanation, and let me tell you that at once. So effectively, as Pole Employ is part of uh, the founding partnership of the City of Trade, so in the main convention, uh, we state what are the commitments of the partners, and as part of the commitments of the partners, Pole Employ puts our disposal tools of they are institutions. This is the reason why we can see it here in uh, uh, the documentary partners. So I'm done. Uh, there is a, a private partner coming in soon which will develop tools on demand. And on the other side, you have uh, uh, occasional partners, for instance, France. Television Numérique, uh, France Digital Television. These are partners. They start working with us and very quickly, gradually, they come to enrich uh, the second crown of the uh, partnership because in order to build a partnership effectively, uh, you must feel comfortable with the issues and you can only do that working together. So I'm done. Mm, this is what I told you on uh, the partnership. Maybe uh, an element. Know that the first part, the partners of the first circle are the one that are part of the board, while the one of the second one have a special structure. They are a committee of the of coordination, and there are two representatives chosen among all of these partners of the COCO call that are present in the strategic com uh, commission of the city of trades. So I'll stop here. I'm done. What I would like to tell you simply is that you have here uh, my contacts. You also have uh, um, the site of the international network of the city of trades. You so you have it on the the, the 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 slide. So I invite you to find more information on what this label is really, where we what we do. And finally, I give you the site of the Lavillet because we are those who have the most developed um, activity program since we have 100 activities per year so it gives you an idea on the sorts of activities that you can have in a city of streets and for those who are interested i will give you a little leaflet i will give you a little leaflet and for those who are more interested and who would like to build a city of trades i have here the the guide of labelization of a city of trades and if in the case you don't have it you can f download uh, that on the site. Thank you. <coughs>